Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. My name is Sahil, I'm a death metal musician and I'm also the author of the recipe book called Keto Life. Today's keto recipe is a full-blown keto meal. It's perfect for a weeknight dinner or something even a little more special like date night. You know when you gotta keep that romance alive in your relationship? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, what are we cooking up today? We're going to be making a pan seared salmon on a bed of asparagus cooked in garlic and butter topped with a delicious creamy lemon sauce. I mean, I'm salivating just thinking about it. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. So for this recipe, I'm using some beautiful purple asparagus. Now asparagus is not very common in India and it is quite expensive. So for my Indian viewers, you can just use some green beans as a replacement. Now what you want to do is cut off the bottom part of the asparagus which is quite woody. So what you want to do is just sort of press your knife starting from the bottom and where it starts to get a little tender, cut it off there. That way you don't waste too much of it. So make sure you cut off the woody part of the asparagus and you basically have, well, asparagus that you can now use. Now when shopping for asparagus, you want to look at the tip of the asparagus and it should ideally be closed. If it is opening, that means the asparagus is getting close to flowering. So you obviously want the ones which are closed, that is ideal. And of course, don't forget to wash your asparagus before cooking it. Now to cook the asparagus, I'm going to get my pan on the stove and I'm going to heat up a knob of butter. Once that butter has melted, I'm going to add in some minced garlic. Because well, butter, garlic and asparagus, great combination. Anyway, cook the garlic till it starts to turn golden brown and then put in your asparagus. Now I'm going to season the asparagus with some salt and some black pepper. Give it a bit of a toss. And then I'm going to put in some water and just cover it and cook it for about 4 to 5 minutes. After about 4 to 5 minutes of cooking, the water will have evaporated. Give the asparagus a good toss and let it caramelize. You want the asparagus to not only be tender but also have a little bit of color on it. Anyway, once your asparagus is done, remove it from the pan and set it aside. Now in the same pan, I'm going to add in some more butter and as that butter melts, I'm going to take my salmon fillet, which is a skinless fillet. Of course, if you can get salmon with skin, nothing like it. And I'm going to season the fish on both sides with salt and pepper. And then in goes the salmon into your pan, into that melted butter. And now you just want to cook it for about 3 minutes on each side. Fish actually cooks very quickly, so just let it cook. You can baste it with that butter in the pan. And now remember the pan is already seasoned with that garlic and butter. So there's a lot of flavor in here already. Anyway, cook the fish and once it's done to your liking, remove it from the pan. And now it's time to make our sauce. So now I'm going to add in a little bit of chopped red onion. I'm going to add in some more butter into the pan and I'm also going to add in some lemon zest into this. It's going to give it a lovely lemony flavor. I'm also going to throw in some capers and then I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice as well. And I'm also going to add some water. And now what we're doing is we're basically creating a delicious sauce from all the flavor that's already in the pan. Anyway, now I'm also going to add in some heavy whipping cream and this is going to make our sauce delicious, creamy and rich. Now give it all a good mix. And if your sauce feels like it's too thick, you can add in a little bit of water to thin it out. So give it all a good mix. Make sure it's the consistency you like. Taste it for seasoning. And mine needed a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and of course I finished it with some fresh parsley and I gave it one final good mix and my sauce was ready. Now to plate up ladies and gentlemen, layer that asparagus on the bottom of the plate. Then on the asparagus goes our fish and of course once you've done that you got to pour that sauce right over the fish. That lemony, creamy, buttery, delicious sauce. And finally, a little more fresh parsley to garnish. 
and that ladies and gentlemen is our asparagus and salmon in a creamy lemon sauce and of course I could not let you go without just breaking into that fish could I and look how perfectly cooked it is anyway enough jibber jabber your dinner is ready hey folks now isn't that a meal that is going to impress people I don't know about you but if somebody cooked that meal for me I would be hella impressed anyway if you enjoyed this recipe please smash the like button on this video and as always you will find the written recipe with macros on www.headbangerskitchen.com I'll leave the direct link in the video description box just below this video also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome keto recipes and hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload a new video anyway enough jibber jabber till the next episode cheers and keep cooking do you like seafood well if you're a seafood lover let me know in the comments below drop a fish emoji and click here to watch my seafood recipe playlist or click here and listen to some of my music I did tell you I was a death metal musician right Hyah!